31 days, 31 seeds, a lesson from the Oscars, day 29. Encouraging lives by sowing seeds of hope and determination. The seed today was about thoughts. The Oscars have made this perfect. Seed 28 and seed 27 was about our words. Seed 27 was about your words. Seed 28 was about other people's words. And seed 29 is about your thoughts. Words spoken by other people can create thoughts in our own head. We get to choose those thoughts. A lot of times though, those thoughts come to us from something that's already been programmed inside of us. And if we do not pay attention to that, we may not perceive a situation in a healthy manner. Take the Oscars as an example with Will Smith and Jada. I understand that Chris Rock had words that came out of his mouth and Jada and Will Smith must have had thoughts that came into their head. It appears to me that their thoughts were thoughts of embarrassment, feeling that Chris Rock said something horribly awful to them. When I heard Chris say the comment that she was preparing for G.I. Jane 2, there's three different perspectives that could have been taken on that. I have not watched the movie G.I. Jane, I will admit. I've spoken to people who have, and I asked them, was G.I. Jane shown in that movie to be a weak woman? Who was G.I. Jane in that movie? Was she not the heroine of the movie? Who could handle business? Possibly another perspective when Chris Rock had made that comment. Imagine if when Chris Rock had said that comment, oh, are you preparing for G.I. Jane 2? If Jada had said, yes, strong women. Imagine the difference. Or if they chose to feel offended by that comment, if both her and Will would have stood up, looked at the crowd, smiled and nodded, and walked out. That would have been really classic. Another perspective, Will could have got up, went on to stage, he could have bent down and whispered in his ear, listen Chris, my wife's having a really hard time with this right now, so could we keep her out of the topic? There already are three different perspectives we could have taken on that comment. Not every time someone says something does it have to be taken as derogatory. Today's lesson, how words can create thoughts. Now, that does not mean our thoughts are correct. Chris Rock said that, it could have been turned into a very positive statement. Think about that. Think about when words come out, how many different perspectives can you see? How many different perspectives are there? Which one's the proper one? The proper perspective is going to be the healthiest perspective for your own well-being and those around you. Day 29, seed 29, think about the words that are coming out of your mouth and other people's mouths and the thoughts that they are creating. If you feel injured by a word, see if you can think of another perspective that may change the whole spin on the situation. I love you. I want you to love you. I will see you tomorrow for Seed 30.